Hello, welcome back. It's so good to see you. So today, I am going to be showing you what I got for Christmas. So it's my Christmas haul. Oh my gosh, and this was literally like the best Christmas I've had in a really, really long time. I'm so excited about everything that I got and some of the stuff like I can use for the channel, so it's really exciting. Um, but the first thing that I want to show you is my absolute favorite gift out of all of them. As soon as I opened it, I started crying. So I want to show it first in case I do cry <laughs> so that I can get that out of the way. But my mom got this for me and it's an ornament. It's just this little metal ornament. But if you look close, it's a little winter scene and it says the love between brothers and sisters is forever. And that's my brother Luke, me, and my sister. I immediately started crying when I saw this because, you know, um, if you are unaware, um, I've mentioned it before, but my brother did die. And if you want to find out how or just hear memories of him, I have a video on the channel of my childhood memories of my brother, um, but I just lost it when I saw that he had wings. Um, and my mom got it for me to go on my Christmas tree, but I, I don't want to put it on my Christmas tree. I want to see it all the time, so I'm thinking that I'm actually going to hang it on the camera. <laughs> so that I can look at it all the time. But hopefully I don't cry every time. You know what I mean? Anyway, but I like the the shape of it. And the background scene is awesome. Plus we're all wearing these like super cute Christmas sweaters. And it really does look like it's all like sitting together. I love it. I see like ads for this kind of thing like all the time. Um, so I'm really happy that I got that. It's my absolute favorite gift. Okay, now I got a bunch of just random stuff, but I love, love it all. So, my, uh, I can't remember if this is mother-in-law or brother-in-law. I think it's my mother-in-law that got these, but we got a bunch of games. And this is Taco versus Burrito, the card game, the battle to build the weirdest wildest meal is on. I don't know. It looks interesting though. We like, we like to play, to play games and it's always fun to have something different. Oh wait, yeah, these were for my mother-in-law because she got this one. It's called Pooh Pocalypse. Um, and it's the world's number two card game. Get it? A card game for immature people. And that would be my entire family. <laughs> um, but yeah, it says, Welcome to the Poopocalypse. It's a card game for immature people. Battle your poo pals in the strategic game of defecation domination. Poop, there it is. And there's like a bunch of different little poop cards. I don't know. That should be fun. Very entertaining. Now, my brother-in-law got me and my husband a gift together. There was a video on my husband's gaming channel where he played Oregon Trail, like the old school original Oregon Trail. And he played it for me because that was like the original game, you know. And um, he played it without me and he sucked because he had never played the game before. Um, he didn't know what to do or anything like that. So then we recorded another video where I played. We almost made it, but we didn't. But my brother-in-law got the Oregon Trail card game for me and my husband, but it's really for me. 
I love it. It's based on the classic computer game, but this is the card game. What? You may travel the trail, work together to overcome calamities, get at least one member of your party to Oregon, stop to rest, decide which of your friends will die of dysentery, write your name on a tombstone, what is your choice? Oh my gosh, there's so many so many different ways that you can play the game, you know? You never know what's going to happen. I love it. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to play that game. Okay. This next thing's kind of loud, so I'm going to pick them up separately. But my aunt, she got me a little teacup. She knows that I love tea. And she actually got me a bunch of different tea, but I've already opened them and started drinking them, so. But this one's a very, it's like a fancy teacup, you know? And it is from Batat Brew to a Tea. So, anyway, she got that. And then, to go with it, a little saucer for the teacup. That's cute, right? I love it. And it's like trimmed very thinly. I don't know if you can see, but it's trimmed in gold. Very fancy. Okay, don't make a loud noise. Okay. <sighs> and then I got this. This is a plantific superfood skincare, but this is a peach foot peel mask. It says soothes rough skin, exfoliates dead skin, and there are two pairs. I got this because I saw, it wasn't on TikTok, I don't like TikTok, but it, I think it was on Instagram, basically TikTok on Instagram, and it was somebody um, trying this out, like reviewing Amazon highest rated products or something like that and what's supposed to happen is you like put this on your feet for I don't know like 20 minutes or something I don't know but then like after two days like the whole skin any dead skin that is on your feet will like peel off but it takes like two days to work or something and I was like no way so I went onto YouTube and watched people trying this out and they were just like this really works. So I put it on my Amazon wish list and my mother in law got it for me. So it should be fun. We'll we'll see how it works. I don't know. It, it's probably gonna be super gross. <laughs> I don't know. Um and then I got this. This is a five facial sheet masks. You've got wake up and glow. Glow, baby, glow. Glow all day. Rock the glow and work hard and glow. Just different, different sheet masks. I like, I like facials and, you know, that kind of thing, so. Okay. Uh, my husband got me this and he got it because snow angel it's my favorite scent um i have snow angel perfume snow angel lotion but i don't have any of the snow angel body wash because they only come out with it once a year and i used it up last year and stuff um but they didn't have any individual bottles so yeah he had to get the three pack but i was like that's totally fine um because i've, ne I've never tried the fresh cream and i've always wanted to um, but they also have peppermint stick, and I mean, that that should be like minty, right? I don't know. But um, I absolutely love philosophy um, products. Oh, I'm trying to open it because the bag is like really pretty.
Look at that. Take time for yourself. And let me open this up. Hopefully it's not too loud. bottles. Aren't they cute? <laughs> Every day brings a smile. So I have that one. And then we've got peppermint stick. It says peppermint sticks are a must-have treat. Use a peppermint stick to stir your hot cocoa. Adorn a hostess gift. Crushed on top, a, soul, a bowl of ice cream, bundled in a jar, dipped in melted chocolate, or by itself for a late night snack. I wonder if I can open these. They're sealed, but let's open them up. I bet you this smells like super good. If I can open it. It smells exactly like a candy cane. That's good. Let me open up the fresh cream one. Oh, I don't know what that smells like. It, it kind of has like a vanilla-y smell. But man, that is great. And then last but not least, my absolute favorite, Snow Angel. And it says, Snow Angels come to call during the happiest season of all. The warmth of their glow and joyful sound will bring love and peace to those around. Now, this is my favorite because I don't think it smells like snow or anything like that, but um, it reminds me of like just the smell of it. it reminds me of my brother um yeah it's amazing it reminds me of summers with my brother swimming in the pool we would go swimming every day we had a pool in our backyard when we were little and we would go swimming every day in the summer and like this is kind of like what the pool smelled like, I guess, but it just makes me think of my brother, so that's why it's my favorite smell. But they only come out with it at Christmas time because it's called Snow Angel, you know? So I have to use it sparingly. And then my husband got me an Amazon gift card, so we're gonna have to go Amazon shopping and have some type of Amazon haul. I don't know what I'm going to get yet, but we'll see. Um, I know this might seem kind of weird, but my son actually got me some dry erase markers, and I thought that it was so, or no, my daughter got me those. Um, can't believe that they actually remembered that I wanted that stuff. Um, because I do this calendar in the kitchen and it's on this big dry erase board and I, I like to use lots of colors and stuff like that. And my markers are like starting to like die out. So I needed some more of those. And then my son got me this. I love gel pens and these are like fancy, fancy gel pens. So got some of those. And then I've been complaining about not being able to find any highlighters. So my son got me highlighters. It's awesome. Okay. And then my daughter, oh my gosh. Look at that. She got me the office, US. Um, 2022, hold on, I think the trash guys are Oh, the trucks are so loud. Okay, I think I can record now. <laughs> the garbage truck was like going by and it's like the first garbage day since Christmas and so they're taking extra long. And then as soon as I was about to start recording again, somebody in the backyard 
you know, neighbor started mowing their lawn. So, I have no idea where I was, but this is here. So I'm assuming that I haven't talked about this yet. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so my daughter got this, and it is a 2022 calendar daily trivia from your favorite TV series. And this is awesome. It says a year's worth of memorable and challenging trivia. Here are some examples. At the roast, Kelly names three people she would make out with before Michael. Name one person or thing on the list. And like, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what sport is the highlight of the company picnic? I think it was volleyball, right? And then Jim accounts announces that the first employee of the month is number nine. Who is number nine? That's Jim. So, this should, this should be interesting. And I was thinking that what I could do is I could just, you know, look at them every day and then keep them all. And so, at the end of the year, I can just have a massive office trivia that's an extremely long video. <laughs> okay, what else? What else? Oh, okay, speaking of The Office, my mother-in-law got me, I think this is the Funko, yeah. So this is Office 871 Dwight Schrute. <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. I love this. It makes me so happy. And then we also have Michael Scott. And look, he has a little coffee cup and it says world's best boss. That's amazing. I love it. And these are all the characters that you can get. So maybe I'll have to start a collection. And then she also got me this. Now, Stranger Things is probably mm, in the top five of my favorite shows, and it's 11. I love it. I love it. And these are the characters that you can get. It's 11, Flayed, Billy, Joyce, and Mike. I'm sure there's got to be other ones though, right? I would think so. Okay, let's see. I told you I got a lot of stuff for Christmas, but it's like all amazing and awesome stuff. So, my daughter got me this shirt. She knows that I like graphic tees and stuff like that, and so she found this. I think she found it at Walmart. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'll definitely have to wear that soon. And then my mom got me this book. It is Return to Life. These are extraordinary cases of children who remember past lives. And this is from Jim B. Tucker, MD. And he is also the author of Life Before Life. I have that book as well. I actually, I really do believe in past lives and stuff. Um, I know people who remember past lives so it's like proof to me you know um and it's just interesting to read stuff like that because like there are children out there and some adults that remember a whole number another life that they've had and they've been able to you know research it and validate it for themselves which is just insane um so it's very interesting to read. So I can't wait to get into that book. And my husband, I think my husband, it's either my husband or my daughter, maybe my daughter picked this out and he bought it, I don't know. Um, got this, it's kettle corn gingerbread made with real butter. That sounds great. I like gingerbread, um, but I have to eat it in small qu quantities. Uh, because it like 
if I eat too much of it, it makes me sick. So, but me and my daughter, we're going to have like a movie night and we'll, we'll share that. And I also got some new slippies. Um, now I want to open this up to show you where is the little zipper. I love slippers so much. And these are super cool because they are memory foam. Um, but they also, they look like little sweaters. Like winter. I don't want to say Christmas sweaters because it's not Christmassy, but it's like a winter material. I just, I love them. And they are memory foam as well, so they'll be super, super comfy. So I can't wait to use those. And then I got a bunch of glitter pins. So let's take these out. Oh, the trash bags garbage trucks going by again. Hold on. Okay, I think they're gone now. Oh. It's heavy. I'm going to set that down because I don't want to drop it. Um, but my mother-in-law, she bought this for me because she knows that I like coffee mugs, but not just to drink coffee mugs like coffee out of it because I don't drink coffee. Um, I drink tea out of it. I'm just going to take one out so I can show it to you. But it's quite, quite large and it's like this matted, matted black color. But the inside is beautiful. Um, she knows that I like mugs that have color on the inside. And so she was like, well, these are super cool because they're all black with bright, bold colors on the inside. So I'll definitely be having some tea in this for sure. So, yeah, I got that. And then the last three things are quite large. But I got some new sheets. And you can see the design. Of course, it's gray because I love gray. Um, but it's just different, different, like, shades of gray. And to go with that, they don't match, but this is a new bed set. And it's in an actually really small um, package, which is odd because I have a queen, a queen ma um, mattress, and usually the, the, the comforters or whatever are quite large. Maybe this is, oh, you know what, I think it's, um, vacuum sealed, so it will, oh yeah, it's, it's full vacuum sealed. Um, but I wanted to get the, I guess, pillowcase out to show you the design. Because I'm not getting all that out right now. That's cute, right? And of course it's gray. Um, but yeah. I like it. It's kind of like, um an elongated honeycomb. You know what I mean? Okay, and the last thing. Oh. It's super, super heavy. Um, please don't drop it. It's a set, like, I don't know, oh gosh, I guess it's like a baking set, it says five piece oven to table set, and 
I believe that my mom, yeah, it's the same on both sides. I believe she got this from QVC, I think. Very pretty. Um, she has some from, I believe, QVC. And I saw them on Thanksgiving. They were like this dark red color. And I was like, those are so pretty. I would like those in teal. I got them in teal. <laughs> so, now I just have to bake things. Awesome. Anyway, now there is one thing that I have not shown, but it's because I'm going to do another video. And it's not really one thing. It's, I got socks from everyone. And you know how much I love socks. Um, so I figured that I would do a video, like kind of like a show and tell video of all the socks. And I counted them last night. And I got 54. 54 <laughs> brand new socks. I'm so excited. I love socks so much. And um, I know that sounds stupid. Like, ew, you got socks for Christmas. But I'm like, ooh, I got socks for Christmas. Like, I love them. So I want to show, um, I want to show them to you, but it's going to be in a totally separate video because there's 54. 54? What? Anyway, so that is all the stuff that I got for Christmas. It was a super massive Christmas haul. Like, I don't think I've ever gotten this many gifts before, like, ever. But I love them all. And now I get to actually open everything. <laughs> I really hope that you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you soon.